Now, continuing with the set of lessons on understanding a new problem with operational analysis, uh, we go into uh, defining the operational processes that will deliver the capabilities. Uh, this is a very uh, important step in the sense that it helps uh, connect everything together that we've done during this phase of operational analysis. So this is the capability that we're going to work on, and here are the activities that are involved in doing that. It's basically the green box right here. So we, we have these allocated operational activities uh, that we did in the last section, and now we basically want to basically define how it's delivered and connect it up. Uh, and by how it's delivered, I'm basically going to uh, connect multiple activities together and call that an operational process. Um, the objective is the operational process is made up of a set of activities that deliver the operational capability. For each operational capability, is recommended that you create at least one operational process. Uh, capturing the operational process will ensure that you think through how you're delivering the operational capability. Uh, so now I'm going to basically show you how that's done. So you, you do this in the same view that you did the operational activities in. So here's the activities that we created. Um, and basically you can see them, they're connected here. There's some of these operational processes already created in the diagram, uh, such as monitor operation, connect USB, they're there. So this is all you have to do to create these. <clears throat> the first one, I'm just going to select this flow, and you can select many flows if there happens to be a connection. You just hold down the mouse button, and you can connect <clears throat> uh, the, the shift button and the left mouse, and you can do more of them. So that's, that's how you would do that. Uh, so I'm going to do some, just select, select one here. <clears throat> and what this one's going to be is I want to basically name it the same as the capability that we defined for it. So I'm going to do a quick uh, look to see what the capability is. And we can do that. And I can show you how we can open up multiple views. So here's the capabilities diagram. So I'm going to just take that diagram there, drag it over to this part of the screen. You can see that it's going to highlight where it's going to drop it. <clears throat> There it is. It's in both screens. You can see it there. And these are the new capabilities I added. See the capabilities there? And I'm going to basically say I'm going to create one for each one of those. <clears throat> so here's one. The first one, we got it selected. And I'm going to create one for, that's provide location. It's the location one. So I'm going to do a right mouse click. And we'll go all the way down here to operational process. And I'm going to create an operational process. See there, it automatically creates it, it highlights it in bold, uh, <clears throat> and then I can go and change the name. So I'm going to change the name to that. Let's provide location. Now that does uh, create an object. So if I go over into the system, it actually creates an object that represents this. So here's the provide location object that was created. Uh, if you look in the semantic browser, you'll actually see the functions that are involved with it and the components that are involved with it. Uh, sometimes this term, this thing is generally called a functional chain, but in this space, uh, because we're using activity, is a, has a slightly different name called an operational process. Now I'm going to do another one of those for this. Now we're going to get into later sections of how you actually edit these. In this case, I really don't need to edit this one, um, but I can show you how to do it. And editing it actually involves another diagram that gets created to do that, called an operational process diagram. Um, so at this point, though, I'm not going to get into that because uh, we'll have lots of opportunity to do that in later ones. I'm going to go ahead and create another one here. <clears throat> Notice it created another one. There it is, the gray box created this time for it. Move that around, and that one's going to be called provide status. Now, if you are using multiple monitors, you can put these, you can drag this tab all the way to another monitor if you want. It's very easy to do that. You can have multiple monitors at once. It's actually a great way of doing it. Uh, I can also go in here and <clears throat> change things around like that, drag, drag these displays, make them so I have more room to work. Now the very last step I want to do is I want to connect these two things, this operational process to the capability. So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to open up the capability, and you notice that here it says involved operational process. So I can say that provide location <clears throat> 
doing that, so now I've connected that. <clears throat> so if I sit down at that object there, I'll see that I have a connected operational process. And then I'll do this here. I'll do the same thing. And I'll show here that I can provide status. That one's connected. So now I have a fully connected model. So I actually can see that I have this object being connected to those things, and everything looks very uh, clearly connected. Okay, and and that's what you want to be able to do, so that when you review this with people, you'd be able to show that I've what capabilities are delivered by what things. And you know, there's lots of things you can find out from this. I can find out there's the operational capability. I could navigate over to provide status, show project, <coughs> show the project in Explorer. There's provide status. I can then, from that, know what diagram that that shows up in, if it shows up in multiple diagrams. So there's just lots of things you can do once you have all these things connected together, and it actually allows you to connect the diagrams. So anyway, that's, that's um, the end of this lesson. Um, thank you very much, uh, and we'll talk again later.